This week on Wicked Time Outdoors, we're heading down to Ohio for a late season archery hunt. We had a chance to look around in the lodge and looking at the deer that he has on the wall, I am pumped to get out tonight. He's Three by a, two? Yeah, he's a freaky looking deer, man. I mean, he's, I, I've not seen him before. No? No. Kiefer shot last year and shot him high. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause what he, was he last year? He was a giant last year. No. Yeah, but it, well, hopefully you can see not. like a little spot. He hit him high. I'm hoping it's not him because that deer was an absolute slob. Really? I think this deer's. That's just a goof, huh? Yeah. Yep, he's just a goof. Guess I'm going to call him High Side. High Side. <laughs> Next year, I'll have both of them would be high sides. Yeah, he's there. We call him Wicked Time. I there you know. go. There we. That's a Wicked Time right that's a there. Wicked Time. He comes by. That if there ever was one, that's a yeah. Wicked Time. No kidding. But yeah, he's cool. Cool looking deer. Yeah, he is. It's different, you know. He's yeah, just for sure. Hi, Tom Lochner, third generation family owner of Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. Hunt, fish, shoot, that's all we do. Our employees are fishing guides, archery pros, gunsmiths, and competitive shooters. So swing by and let us set you up for success in the great outdoors.
I'm a bow hunter, plain and simple, and I demand perfection from my bow. I don't care what brand is most popular, and I certainly don't care what's trending right now. I want fast, I want quiet. I want accurate, but still forgiving, because sometimes my form isn't the best. And yes, I want American made. The T24 from Gearhead Archery gives me all of that. Kids and he's oh. got he's got younger kids so I got you so anyway we're, we rescheduled for tomorrow okay. but yeah there's some bad stuff coming I mean there oh really it's coming up through it's swooped clear down into Florida coming up through Kentucky lower part of Ohio we will probably get some out of it what are they saying for uh, they could get as much as three feet of snow but uh, around here what is it uh, anywhere from like four to six inches of in the next couple days yeah. or what? Okay. So it's supposed to hit there in Pennsylvania up the east coast, I think Friday, Saturday. Okay. So yeah, they got some bad weather coming there. They're gonna get hammered. State of Ohio, can you can you muzzleload and bull hunt or you got Yeah. Oh you can. Yeah. Once you, when I went through the tag it kinda looked like they didn't ask me it asked me if I had to buy a deer tag, like a this either one tag, sex. this either sex tag, but it didn't say archery, gun, anything it's like good that. For anything. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. And I here, wondered how that worked. Here, you can archery hunt all through our gun season, which okay. is seven days, and muzzle. So. And muzzle order seven days as well, or what? Four. Oh, really? So yeah. it's really short. Yeah. Okay. The only thing you have to do is wear an orange vest. Okay. If you're going to bow hunt. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. hmm. All right, well, I'm going to get showered up, get ready to roll. Cool.
we we were making up time. <laughs> you were cooking. We were cooking. That's for sure. Oh, got my booner. My booner pig worked in Iowa, worked in Missouri, gonna work in Ohio. Get my booner in my pocket. What was that? So these little pictures are hard to see on your phone. See which one it is if you're actually going to look at. Bottom, we are the and here and ready to go. We left uh, 10 hours ago, something like that, and excited. Uh, sounds like he's got some great deer here. Gonna go sit on the ground blind, not more than a few hundred yards here from the lodge. We're gonna get out. We got a little bit of snow coming down, but we got the sun peeking out. It should be a perfect night, so let's get after it. I'm a bow hunter, plain and simple. I demand perfection from my bow. I don't care what brand is most popular, and I certainly don't care what's trending right now. I want fast, I want quiet. I want accurate, but still forgiving, because sometimes my form isn't the best. And yes, I want American made. The T24 from Gearhead Archery gives me all of that. Hi, Tom Lochner, third generation family owner of Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. Hunt, fish, shoot, that's all we do. Our employees are fishing guides, archery pros, gunsmiths, and competitive shooters. So swing by and let us set you up for success in the great outdoors. We just got set up in the blind here. We're only two, three hundred yards away from the lodge. It's kind of funny, but we've got a train and cars on the highway not too far from us. So we're going to sit back in. We've got a couple hours before dark. Uh, it's 17, 18 degrees out. A little snow they got last night, so it should be a perfect night. So sit back and enjoy. <laughs>
night. We saw a lot of dough. Excited to uh, see what happens tomorrow. We're going to get back out there, uh, probably check some cameras and see if we can get on uh, get on some different deer. So we're going to get in here, warm up. It was nice and cold tonight, and uh, looks like it's supposed to get even colder and some snow in the next few days. So should be good. Excited to uh, be down here. We'll keep at it. Well, no, we hit arm yet. Okay. Let's see, I gotta figure out where we're Typically, we only hunt afternoons in the late season. So we slept in that morning, and we went out and put up some trail cameras in an area that Jeff knows there's an absolute giant. On day two, we've got an east wind, which hardly ever happens this time of the year. But we're going to a spot that has hardly ever been hunted because of that. I think tonight is going to be a great night. All right, guys, we are settled in here. Um, we're sitting on the corner of a little, a little pocket of a cornfield, a little pig field. Um, with the wind going back in this direction. We're anticipating them coming out to here to my right. We've got a few deer in front of us, a couple does and a small buck, and I look across the field and I can see this giant body going through the woods. My heart is beating out of my chest. He walks to the edge of the field and lifts his head up. This is one of the biggest deer I've ever seen on the hoof. He's a giant. feel that I'm shaking, so I slowly stand up and move away from the tree so I don't shake the tree. I look back and it's Luke who's leaning up against the tree filming, and he's the one that's shaking the tree. We're both on edge. This buck is walking right towards us. We know it's about to happen. He comes in and starts feeding directly towards us. We have to sit there and watch him for five or six minutes as he slowly turns broadside.
just standing there. Yeah, he's just standing there. He's walking now. What's that? He's walking to the right. We can see the buck run off and then stand in the woods. We watched him for about two or three minutes, and right before he starts walking down the hill, it looks like he tips over. We think we've got this buck. It was high and back. All right, guys, I don't know what to say. I screwed up. He's a beautiful buck, and I just, I was on pins and needles here. I didn't want to move. And he was kind of facing towards me. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna let him sit, stand there, let him get comfortable. When I went to pull back, he must have heard something because he took off and I knew the middle. I knew he was about 30 yards and I had my, my pin at set at 25. So when he went out there, he was really quarter away. I put it on him. I had some branches here that I remember looking at to make sure that I Hit him. I don't know. I just, I don't know if I made a bolt in. Like, I don't know. I'm disgusted that it's an absolute giant. <sighs> a giant, a mega giant, Ohio giant. Just huge frame. Unbelievable deer. I hope that interlock broadhead helps me out because I did not make a good shot, man. I am disgusted with that shot. I want to puke right now. I literally want to puke. I'm disgusted. I sure didn't get hit him where I wanted to. So we're going to sit here for a little bit and then we're going to get down and make our way back. So keep watching Wicked Time Outdoors. We'll be right back. We ended up dropping the camera off of the ladder that we had it standing on that had the cord hooked to it. Well, we broke the cord, so we weren't able to look at the footage anymore. We only watched it the one time, and so we ended up having to go to Walmart, and we ended up getting some supper, it took some time off, came back, had the, got a new cord plugged into there, and it looks like, it looks like we see them drop and fall down and we, looks like we see him kicking. So we've kind of waited around a little bit. It's about midnight now. It's been hours since I shot him. We can't take it anymore. We're gonna go out and hopefully recover this giant. All right guys. Um, it's about 10 after 5 in the morning. We've been looking for the buck I shot um, for about four and a half hours. We were just planning on not going out after him, but we watched that footage again, and we really thought we saw him fall down. We, we thought we saw him fall down and kick. Um, we got home and uh, watched it again a couple times, and it just it, it looked like we got him. And we didn't. We went to where we, you know, thought he dropped, and uh, we had good good blood for quite a while. If there was anything vital, he would have uh, expired way before the distance that we traveled tonight. Um, we followed him as far as we could until we ran out of blood. I don't know what else to say. It's uh, not a good feeling. I can tell you that. He's back. This buck that I screwed up on is back and he's even bigger. He might not be 200 inches, but I guarantee he's in the 90s. This is a buck that I cannot wait to get onto this year.
Hi, Tom Lochner, third generation family owner of Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. Hunt, fish, shoot, that's all we do. Our employees are fishing guides, archery pros, gunsmiths, and competitive shooters, so swing by and let us set you up for success in the great outdoors. Hi, Tom Lochner, third generation family owner of Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. Hunt, fish, shoot, that's all we do. Our employees are fishing guides, archery pros, gunsmiths, and competitive shooters, so swing by and let us set you up for success in the great outdoors. I'm a bow hunter, plain and simple, and I demand perfection from my bow. I don't care what brand is most popular, and I certainly don't care what's trending right now. I want fast, I want quiet. I want accurate, but still forgiving, because sometimes my form isn't the best. And yes, I want American made. The T24 from Gearhead Archery gives me all of that.